The other pattern that I'm going to talk about is suspending jerk baits. And that's something that, you know, we started uh, fooling around with, with uh, jerk baits about, oh, 25 years ago. I don't know. We used to fish. We started out fishing the, the Spoonbill Rebels and the Rogues and stuff like that. And then some of the guys started uh, experimenting with weighting those baits and getting them to where they originally they were floaters. They were floater divers. You reel them down, stop them, they float back to the surface. Well, we started waiting, them, some of the guys did, and it started taking hold pretty fast to, to weight that bait, and however you did it, either drill a hole in it, put some lead in it, put some, put some lead balls in it, or put a lead dowel in it and seal it back up, or put weight on the hooks, or however you did it to get it where it would suspend or sink, and we started catching a lot more bass on it in the cold water because for two reasons, I think. One is you can get it down deeper to where the fish are probably going to be, and also you can get it down there and you can slow it down then and twitch it and keep it right in the front of that zone in that zone where that fish is looking for a longer period of time. You can twitch it two or three times, and you're imitating a dying bait fish. You're making that thing look like a, a shad or something that's dying. If you've ever been much on the water in cold weather, you'll see some shad dying occasionally, and what they'll do, uh, when they're going through their dying motions, they'll flitter, they'll go like that, and then they'll just get real still, and they'll start sinking back. And then they'll dart a little bit like that, and then they'll sink back. And we have a big shad die off on our lakes in the Ozarks every winter this time of the year. There'll be a big shad die off, and those bass just gorge on it. I mean, it's just, I mean, they just pull up. When you catch one and, he, and you're reeling him in, he'll be spitting out so many of those shad, it's amazing. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for something that, that has that darting, flashing action. So we started fooling around with weighting those jerk baits and started catching a lot of big bass on them. Well, as time progressed, and uh, the manufacturers started finding out how good those lures were, they started trying to tinker with them and build them. And they came out with suspending rolls and suspending this and suspending that. Well, just in the last few years, the manufacturers have become so technologically advanced, and I'm talking about lure makers like uh, Lucky, uh, Lucky Craft and uh, uh, Mega Bass and some of the Japanese companies in particular have built some beautiful, beautiful jerk baits that suspend good, and they have new what they call long cast systems in them. They've got a, a ball in the back end the run, that slides in a tube, and what happens with it, when you sling it up there and you cast it, that ball goes to the back, the bait and it helps you get quite a bit more distance on your cast each time and uh, they just really come up with some beautiful lures i'll show you a few of them here now here's a couple of the old rogues that we these are a couple that i waited or had a friend of mine did it for me i've waited myself but a friend of mine that was really good at doing this he waited these these are old old baits that i've had for years and i've caught fish on both of them and what we would do we would drill them put a little lead dowel right in here until you get it right take her with it in the sink cold water till you get it right and then seal it back up with epoxy glue. And these baits will suspend right here. Now these were originally floater divers, but they'll still catch fish, but they are they don't have the ability that the new jerk baits have. You can't throw them as far and get them down to that depth but like the new ones. But here's some of the new ones. I'm going to show you probably one of the, the best ones, and it, they're extremely expensive, but one of the best ones on the market is this one called a Mega Bass. It's this bait right here. And it's made by Mega Bass over in, in Japan. And man, that is some kind of a bass bait. In the last five or six years since I got my hands on the first one, I've won lots and lots of money on that bait in the springtime. That bait, if you throw it a long ways, you can get it down to the depth you want it at and keep it there. And I found a little secret I'll tell you about these baits. I found that, uh, in a, I find that in a real cold water, I like for my jerk bait to sink real slow. It's just like that little bait fish I was telling you about. When he's dying, he's sinking, and then he may dart and quiver a few times. And that's so I'll take, and these baits are built to suspend, to actually suspend. But I'll take and put one suspend dock, which is a little old lead dock right there on the bottom of that bait, right there in front of, uh, right behind the front hook hanger. And that's just enough weight that when I twitch that bait and stop it, then it'll turn like this and it'll start sinking back. And typically, 99 times out of 100, when you twist that jerk bait and stop it, that's when they're going to bite it. They stop it when it's either when you'll just be sitting there holding it, and that's the way I want to fish it. I'll get it down to its desired depth, and then I'll twitch it a couple times, stop it. Move it a little bit, twitch it a couple times, and stop it. And they almost always hit it on the pause, just almost always. Now, sometimes I'll feel them hit it on the pause, 
And sometimes when I go to jerk it the next time, they're already there. They're just sitting there with it in their mouth. But, uh, but that's a great bait right there. Let me show you what this is. Uh, this is another new one right here. This is one called a, a Big Stick by Spro. And it's a, one of the newer models with that long cast system in it. And I've never thrown any of these. I just got, bought two of them the other day. A friend of mine was fishing with me behind me. And he caught two or three real quality fish on that one day about a month ago before we started getting these last storms. So I went out immediately and bought me a couple. I've got more jerk baits than any man ought to be allowed to have. But, uh, but anyway, I bought a couple of these and, and I'm going to try it. That's why I've got it tied on. I'm going to try it Monday morning. I'm going to go fishing. So we're finally getting where the ramps are getting going to be thawed out by tomorrow and I'll be able to get on back on the water. All our ramps have been froze up down there where you couldn't get on the water. But anyway, that's called a big stick and it's a, uh, supposed to be a real good bait. And I saw him catch two or three behind me on it the other day. Rod and reel, I like to throw a jerk bait on. I like a real soft tip rod for a jerk bait, kind of like a crankbait rod. Something that's got a real nice soft tip on it for two or three reasons. I can twitch it and make that bait dart and dance with it. And then I fish my jerk baits on pretty light line. I also throw my wiggle warts on pretty light line in cold water. Typically eight or ten pound test on both of these raw on both these reels. I've got eight on both these right here. When the water's real cold, the bass are sluggish, they're not gonna fight as hard. And typically I'm not catching them out of real heavy cover, so I can get away with eight pound test line at this time of year. Now when they start getting a little more aggressive, see a bass's metabolism is run by the water temperature, basically. They're cold blooded flooded creatures. So actually as the water gets warmer, the more active and more aggressive they get the harder they're gonna fight and harder they're gonna pull. But when that water's in the low 40s, uh, you know, they're still gonna pull around, but they're not gonna fight like they would if it was in the 60s or 70s. So I feel like I can get away with eight pound test a lot. And by using that, I can get more depth on my bait. And, uh, and I just feel like I catch more fish this time of year using the lighter line. But I've got uh, a real soft tip rod. This is a 6.6. Six. <clears throat> it's a little Bass Pro carbon light rod. It's just light as a feather. I can throw this thing all day on a little carbon-like reel. This is just a standard gear ratio reel with the eight-pound test floor carbon line. And this little reel, this little rig doesn't weigh anything. So I can catch big old bass on that rig right there. As long as they don't get me into some kind of heavy cover, I can handle any fish that gets on that thing. It's just, and I've got a good drag on there so they can pull that drag out. But uh, that's the kind of rig I like to fish a, a jerk bait on.